Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says the mean of two samples of sizes 50 and 40 were respectively 63 and 54. The corresponding standard deviations were respectively 9 and 6. Obtain the standard deviation of the combined sample. Before we move on to the solution, let's discuss the formula for the combined mean and combined standard deviation. First we have the combined mean given by x bar is equal to n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar and this whole upon n1 plus n2. Then next formula is for the combined standard deviation given by sigma or sigma 1 2 that is we have sigma is equal to square root of n1 into sigma 1 square plus d1 square this whole plus n2 into sigma 2 square plus d2 square and this whole upon n1 plus n2. Now here we have considered two series. Let this be series 1 in which n1 is the size of the series. Then x1 bar is the arithmetic mean of the series sigma 1 is the standard deviation of the series and d1 is equal to x1 bar minus x bar and we know that this x bar is the combined mean. Now for the series 2 we have n2 is the size of the series x2 bar is the arithmetic mean of the series sigma 2 is the standard deviation of the series and d2 is equal to x2 bar minus x bar. So this is the key idea that we would use for the solution of this question. Now consider the question in this. We are given two samples, their respective sizes, their means and their corresponding standard deviations. And we are supposed to find the standard deviation of the combined sample. So let's see the solution now. So here we have N1 which is the size of the first series which is given as 50 and N2 is the size of the second series which is 40. So we have N1 equal to 50 and N2 equal to 40. Then next X1 bar which is the arithmetic mean of the first series and it is given as 63 and the arithmetic mean of the second series is 54. So we have x1 bar equal to 63 
and x2 bar equal to 54. Now let us find out the combined mean which is denoted by x bar and this is equal to n1 x1 bar that is 50 into 63 plus n2 x2 bar which is 40 into 54 and this whole upon n1 plus n2 that is 50 plus 40. So this is equal to 3150 plus 2160 and this will upon 90. Further, this is equal to 5310 upon 90. The 0 cancels with 0 and 9. 50, 9 times is 531. So we have x bar which is the combined mean is 59. Next let's find out B1 which is equal to x1 bar minus x bar and so this is equal to now x1 bar is 63 so 63 minus 59 which is equal to 4 that is D1 is equal to 4. Now next D2 is equal to x2 bar minus x bar. Now x2 bar is 54, so 54 minus 59 which is equal to minus 5. That is d2 is equal to minus 5. Then we have combined standard deviation given by sigma or sigma 1, 2 is equal to square root of n1 into sigma 1 square plus d1 square the whole plus n2 into sigma 2 square plus d2 square the whole and this whole upon n1 plus n2. So now the combined standard deviation sigma 1 2 is equal to square root of now we can substitute the values for n1 n2 sigma 1 sigma 2 and d1 d2. So here we have 50 into now sigma 1 is the standard deviation of first series which is 9. So as sigma 1 is 9 sigma 1 square would be 81 plus d1 square, d1 is 4, 4 square is 16, whole plus n2 which is 40 into sigma 2 which is the standard deviation of the second series which is 6. So here 6 square would be 36 plus d2 square and d2 is minus 5, minus 5 square is 25 and this whole upon n1 plus n2 which is 50 plus 40. So here we have used sigma 1 as 9 and sigma 2 as 6. So further this is equal to that is sigma 1 2 is equal to square root of 50 into 97 plus 40 into 61 upon 90. And this is further equal to 4850 plus 2440. This upon 90. This gives us sigma 12 is equal to square root of 7290 upon 90. And here 9, 81 times is 729. So we have sigma 1, 2 is equal to square root of 81 which is equal to 9. Therefore, sigma 1, 2 is equal to 9. That is the combined 
standard deviation denoted by sigma 1, 2 or you can say sigma also is equal to 9. So, this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.